sa laban, Panginoon, sa iyong bunga. Isyo, kalubog sa aming puso, aming sarili ay aming handog, laging tapat at laging tukon, dahil ito handa kami, Panginoon. Kami hahayo sa iba't ibang dako, hatid ang iyong salita at pag-ibig ko. Dahil ni Maria, siya na may namin kutod, dalag na napayap ng iyong misyon. Patang-taong kaya, in the holy presence of God. In nomine Patri, et Fini, et Spiriti Santi. Amen. Revised Horatio Imperata against COVID-19. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand. Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. 
May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We grant your protection, O Holy Mother of God, do not despise our petition and our necessities. But deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sea, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Canunzon, pray for us. So fellow HNI members and everyone, here now is the prayer for the protection for Hans Inclusion Village. God our Father, we implore you to us for the enlightenment and rescue, the repentant success of the organization Hands in Inclusion Philippines. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including its former members. Rescue us from all sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the dead. Keep us in putting God first whatever is the religion of the 14, including the Father, while being inclusive to all those who are in need of religion, especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQI+, people confused with their gender, ethnic groups, and owners of the poor whom you also love. Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust drudge, conspiracy, and violence, which might affect the people we are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his party to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines and impurity and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe, and open the eyes to the truth of the Bible that we hold. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord. Help us to realize that fear, envy, anger, and unforgiveness comes from Satan, and he may be stopped whatever fight that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves, a child of God. We also pray for those people who are blamed by hands inclusion in the peanuts, to repent from the sins they are guilty of without resorting or believing in any false accusations made by either them or any enemy they have done. Forgive us from our accusations in any form and from all the wrong times. In your eyes, the organization This we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sea, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Alonso, pray for us. Saint Blair of Montefalco, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Our Lady, help of all Christians, intercede for us. Saint Bonita, pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Augustine, pray for us and our family and our friends. Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Benedict, Pope Saint Peter X, and Pope Saint John Paul II, rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. Let the Holy Spirit have mercy and change the heart of everyone. All organizations and all the people who finally work with the organization who made terrible mistakes, and those the people who took part in the conspiracy to false accuse anyone and hands in him. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us from our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, 
May lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In nomine Patri, et Fili, et Spiriti Sancti. Amen. The views and opinions expressed in this live report are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the management of this organization. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Editorial. Today is Wednesday, February 10, 2021. I'm your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi, and we are broadcasting simultaneously on Into Radio and Hanson in Ocean Philippines YouTube channel. Okay, we will begin our show with our verse for today from 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 57. May the Lord our God be with us as he was with our ancestors. May he never leave us nor forsake us. We will begin our topic proper in just a moment and we will be back after these commercials. Now this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, uh, welcome back to Editorial. Okay. okay. This afternoon, we will discuss about hands in inclusion. So, ladies and gentlemen, what is hands in inclusion? Well, hands in inclusion Philippines is a community of volunteers that promotes proper inclusion of persons with disabilities in the Philippines. We share the stories in order to help persons with disabilities to be accepted in our civilized society as individuals and to help them live as equals, if not a functioning part of the community. Our goal is to be able to reach out to the proper channels of the government through the public sector and the private sectors in order to give aid and support to those who deserve this help. Inclusion is our thrust to create awareness of what PWDs and our other benefactors are going through, how they can be supported and accepted in society as functioning individuals. We advocate their voices and their pleads so that the proper channels of the government through the public sectors and the private sectors would be of help. Hands in inclusion are the ears and the voice of our brothers and sisters who feel helpless with the right to live equally. What are our guiding statements? Our mission is, we, as a social awareness group, encourage ordinary people to be informed of the inclusion of the major sectors of our society and its benefits by means of social media and other possible effective means. Our vision is, we see that because of inclusion, the major sectors of our society will be embraced and supported starting from our network and towards the rest of our country and eventually the world. Through inclusion, we unify both our beneficiaries and the majority of society. What are our core values? God first in spite of our different religions. To stay true to our cause of long-term inclusion, we put God first, whatever is our religion, because we do believe, despite opposition, that all good and all lasting fulfillment only comes from God, whatever is your religion or faith. Truth first beyond reasonable doubt. We must know the truth, whatever is your stance in the issues of the society. We put people first. Why? It's because we care and love for each other despite of our differences. Pro-Filipino culture. We connect to the culture because it's the traditional culture of the Filipinos that connects the Filipino people into communicating one another inclusively where you are based. When we say pro-democratic rule, we apply this core value because we are in a democratic country and we have principles. Pro-discipline. Why? Why pro-discipline, ladies and gentlemen? It's because at hands and inclusion, we are treated properly by means of good disciplinary actions. We'll take a look on how did hands and inclusion started. It was all started on March 8, 2017. It was started as Inclusion in Action. This is a community uh, uh, blog volunteer group that was founded by Roylan Gorospe Marlang a self-advocate with autism and a Benilian alumni from Pasay City. The logo of IIA was designed by Roiland himself. And at that time, Roiland uh, came from Project Inclusion Network and a famous PWD organization in Kamuning, Quezon City called Autism Society Philippines, ASP. Uh, nung, at that time, si Roy ay siya nag-start sa isang famous PWD organization na nagmula sa Kamuning, Quezon City, yung Autism Society Philippines. Pero, at that time, kalilipat lang siya sa Project Inclusion ng Unilab Foundation. April 21, 2017, 
Inclusion and Action began to experiment on how to help PWDs. Araw ng Kalayaan, noong 2017, ang Inclusion in Action ay naging Hands in Inclusion o ang HNI. This logo was designed by Paui Bobier, a Benildian alumni. March 8, 2018, coinciding with the first anniversary of Hansen Inclusion, the launch of the first slogan of Hansen Inclusion, which is Inclusion Ako. This is inspired from the battle cry of Hinebra. And the, and the essence of this is we shall unite with, and also to, to help us to be true persons, true inclusion, not only in our country, but throughout the world. November 17, 2018, we had another logo of Hansen Inclusion. It was designed by our founder, Ryland Marlang. And the essence of the logo is to show the Bayanihan spirit and to love each other. These are the most important values as a Filipino. And the rays of the sun represents the colors of PWDs, ADHD, autism, cerebral palsy, and the list goes on. Let's move on to 2019. March 8, 2019, we had another logo again. Ito ay, uh, itong logo na to ay dinesenyo ito ni Mike Ambion, isang estudyante ng Benilde sa Maynila. Itong logo na to. On that day, yung Hansen Inclusion ay naibuksan ang online shop sa publiko sa pamamagitan ng Facebook. On that day, Hansen Inclusion soft open the online shop to the public via Facebook. On July 23, 2019, Hansi Inclusion premiered their first commercial entitled Alam Namin Po Yon. This is created and directed by Roylan Marlang and David Joseph Hill. And the essence of Alam Namin Po Yon, or we know about that, is to carry on and also to succeed our lives despite our disabilities. On that day, we launched the Inclusion Ako campaign through the design of the t-shirt. Who designed this? It is, it is by a former Hansen Inclusion Corps member named David Joseph Hill. He is uh, the former Corps member who, who is living in Katipunan, Quezon City. On November 11 to 15, 2019, Hansen Inclusion Management went to Benilde, Manila for the Deaf Bazaar. This one. Last year, the year of the pandemic, 2020. January 24, 2020, Hansen Inclusion organized a seminar entitled Makabagong Autismo sa Ikadalawampu't Isa Siglo. The venue was held in PGH in Manila and this is uh, done under the direction by the former president of Hansen Inclusion, Samantha Season. The project managers of the seminar are Bilicent Bevera Macuse, a PWA living in Imo City, Cavite, and Cedric John Bautista Mariano, a PWA living in Manila. This one, March 8, 2020, the song One Inclusion Nation was premiered. It was composed by David Hill a former Hands in Inclusion Corps member living in Katipunan, Quezon City. Uh, this is in coinciding with the celebration of the third anniversary of Hands in Inclusion and the declaration of the state of public health emergency in the Philippines due to the novel coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic. May 17, 2020, we organized another concert. This is our online concert. It's entitled, Heming Inclusion. The essence of Heming Inclusion is to give honor to the frontliners and to the Virgin Mary. Inihahandog ng Hands in Inclusion ang isang konsyerto bilang parangal kay Birheng Maria at sa mga frontliners natin. Ang Heming Inclusion, ang tagapagsalita ay si Ginoong Roylan Marlang, ang mga magtatanghal, bukod kay Roy Lan, Marlang, si Navelle, 
si Christian, si Dan Mar, si Billy, si Cedric, si Asher, at yung mga self-advocate. Si Christian, Pinky, CJ, Matthew, at si Conan. This one. July 6, 2020 is the launch of Inkunihan. This is a... Uh, we will know what... Um, Inklunihan was launched. So what is Inklunihan? Inklunihan is an ongoing fundraising project of Hansen Inclusion Philippines. The purpose of this fundraising activity are the following. The PWD is so cannot afford to find a job or lost jobs due to the COVID-19 community quarantine in the entire Philippines and they did not receive the social amelioration program from the DFWD and the local government units. And also the Tupad, the Tupad from Dole, the 8K. Students who cannot afford to buy gadgets to be used for their online classes. While face-to-face -face classes are not allowed until a go signal is made by the Department of Health, led by Secretary Francisco T. Duque III, the Interagency Task Force for the Management of Emerging Infectious Disease, led by Cabinet Secretary Carlo Alexi B. Nograles. Mahal kong Pangulo, led by our President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, Department of Education, by uh, led by Secretary Leonor Magdolis Briones. Ched, led by Prospero de Vera, the World Health Organization, led by Director General Dr. Tedoros Adhanom Gebreyeus, and the Joint Task Force COVID Shield, led by Police Lieutenant General Cesar Hawthorn Binag of the Philippine National Police. The future projects of Hansen Inclusion and the funds for the less fortunate. When we say the funds for the less fortunate, yung mga hindi nakapag-aral, hindi nakapag-trabaho. On July 23, 2020, we had another commercial of Hansen Inclusion entitled One Inclusion Forever. This in that it is in coinciding with the celebration of the NDPRW. And the essence of this commercial is to give honor to the frontliners. On September 14, 2020, um, in Tunihan uh, was stopped due to recent developments and the lack of support. On that day, Hansen Inclusion premiered the version of Tinig ng Mga Nawalan or Alaala ng Mga Inclusion. The essence of Tinig ng Mga Nawalan is a tribute to the Filipino fighting spirit and sense of community and service in the face of challenges. What do we mean by Tinig ng Mga Nawalan? This is inspired from ABS-CBN, the final day of the, of the 10,000 employees who lost their jobs due to the denial of the franchise and also due to the retrenchment program on August 31, 2020. Okay. On September 30, 2020, and on December 8, 2020, the song One Inclusion Forever is composed by yours truly, Carlos Kanahashi. This song is inspired from the 2019 Christmas jingle of ABS CBN, Family is Forever. This is on, on September 30, 2020, coinciding with the uh, Celebration of the birthday of Monsignor Dean Coronel of Quiapo Church. And again, on December 8, 2020, coinciding with the Feast of the Immaculate Conception. On October 24, 2020, on the Magpayo Tayo Inclusion Special Episode, Rodelio Daguman, a PWA living in Muntin Lupa, Vincent Macuse, a PWA living in Imo City, Cavite, and Carlos Kanahashi, a PWA from Quezon City, unveiled the design of the merchandise of Hands in Inclusion.
this one. You can see this. Okay. On December 3, 2020, we premiered the fourth anniversary logo of Hansen Inc. Shot. This year, we are we only have a month left before we actually um we four years. We're now about to uh, have our fourth anniversary celebration. This is in coinciding with the 500th anniversary of the birth of Christianity in our country. The essence of this logo are it represents our history, and these are representing our culture and our civilized society. Okay. On December 8, 2020, Rylan Marlang, the founder of Hansen Inclusion, gave a talk about Hansen Inclusion activities in the COVID-19 pandemic in Ateneo Street, led by Christina Sevedal. Okay. This one, we did happen already about a month ago. On January 23, 2021, Hansen Inclusion organized a webinar called AU Testimonials. The essence of this webinar is to tell stories about PWDs and the advocates. The speakers are Dr. Lirio Cove, Pauline Reyes, Arden Asuncion, and our fellow member in Hands and Inclusion, Bilisan Makuse. So the project managers of this webinar are Asher Santos, a PWA living in Calamba, Laguna, and Carlos Kanahashi, yours truly, a PWA from Quezon City. So, if you want to watch this, you can watch this on YouTube. This one. So, we will have another webinar this coming February 27, Saturday, on About Down Syndrome. You will watch that also on the Facebook Live of Hansen Asian Peoples. So our accomplishments are the Inclusion Ako campaign, our battle cry to promote inclusion, and also the t-shirts of the Inclusion Ako uh, designed by David Joseph Hill. The Hansen Inclusion online shop on Facebook, the interconnected multimedia files in social media, the Deaf Bazaar in Benin on November 11th to 15th, 2019. Aiming Inclusion, the Stay at Home Concert. Bakabagong Autismo, sa ikadalawang put isa siglo. The first seminar of Hansen Inclusion. AU Testimonials Webinar last January 23. And we had three songs last year. One Inclusion Nation, composed by the former Hansen Inclusion core member in Katipunan, Quezon City, named David Hill. The Alaala ng Inclusion, Hansen Inclusion version, last September 14, 2020. And One Inclusion Forever, composed by yours truly, Carlos Kanahashi. And this is inspired, these two songs, Alaala ng Inclusion and One Inclusion Forever, they're inspired from ABS-CBN. This, this one. And also, we had last year on July and June, we had interviews on the Inclusive Report. On June 26, 2020, we interviewed Andres Jonathan Pajardo, a PWA living in Caloocan City. June 9, July 8, 2020, we interviewed uh, a pastor, a pastor, a COVID-19 survivor, and a basketball enthusiast named Brother Gary Reyala. On July 17, 2020, we interviewed Ernie Gawilan. Uh, a swimmer and an Asian Paralympian athlete from Davao City. And on July 22, 2020, we interviewed uh, on the inclusive report, Dr. Chofilo Toto de la Cruz. The, uh, the late Dr. Toto de la Cruz, the former uh, owner of PKK, the Pambansang Coalition na may kapansanan tungo sa pagbabago based in San Jose del Monte, Bulacan. And also, we have more accomplishments that we will take so in the next couple of years. So, we, so stay tuned for these, ladies and gentlemen. What are our plans in Hansen Inclusion? The Inclusive Report, the purpose of this report is to share the news related to persons with disabilities 
and to talk with some PWD advocates through Skype or phone telephone call. See the inclusion the movies via Facebook viewing party. This is to show the essence of scene inclusion is to show three A's to PWDs: accommodation, awareness, and acceptance. Nationalism and God being the first one that happened is a, a movie about the life of Doc Willie Ong. Last, I think it's around last third quarter, fourth quarter, and we preempted the SRO with Alvin and Doris for that for the scene inclusion. We will add more products on the Hands in Inclusion online shop. We will support and, and will partner with other organizations, LGUs, some famous personalities, sports organization and teams, education institutions, and the list goes up. Our long-term plans are a documentary for PWDs and advocates, book launching, possible donations to NGOs, LGUs, some famous personalities, sports organizations and teams, and schools. You will also open the Ads and Inclusion official store and cafe. We will expect to be a non-government and a formal organization. Forums, debates, and seminars, and also webinars related to inclusion and more meetings for PWDs, organizations for PWDs, and self-advocates. Inclinihan is to help the less fortunate PWDs by hiring them by a hands and inclusion. We have a concert and soundtrack for some PWD artists, sports and livelihood empowerment for PWDs, charity tournaments like Inclusion Ako, Tatuan sa Basketball, Liman sa Football, and the list goes on. We also have the Ronda Inclusion. This is the roving to some areas to promote inclusion most likely happening in the evening, and we will continue the recruitment of a bona fide PWD. When we say recruit a bona fide PWD, this necessarily means that the OPWDs who are not a member of any PWD organizations, yung mga hindi sumusuporta sa mga komunista at hindi nakikisawsaw sa politika. What are the other plans? In Cluminio, this is a vortex type of condominiums for PWDs inspired from, from the Lausanne 2020's Olympic Village in Lausanne, Switzerland. And, and then our target date will be 2022 or 2023 in NCR. 2025 will extend to Lawag, Cebu, and Davao. But this, I think it will be done after the pandemic. Inclo Cafe, this is the part of the first inclusive friendly cafe and venues made by PWDs. It will open between 2022 to 2023 within NCR and 2025 in Lawag, Cebu, and Davao after the pandemic. We'll be also having a sports center. We let us explore for the first inclusive friendly sports activities and sports, sports facilities too. The main stadium will have a capacity of 75,000. The aquatics has 15,000 seating capacity Three gymnasiums, rugby field, hockey field, four tennis courts, badminton arena, and another stadium that has 40,000 capacity. And the main arena has 30,000 seating capacity. We'll open this to the public around 2026 to 2028 within NCR or nearby areas after the pandemic. For the, we will expect ito ang pinakamatinik natin. Magkakaroon na tayo ng main office at magigi isang non-profit stock organization. Sana maging non-profit stock organization at magkakaroon tayo ng main office ng Hands in Inclusion. Ito ay ginag inasan ito pakatapos ng pandemia. Okay. To wrap this up, Hands in Inclusion Philippines is a community of volunteers that promotes proper inclusion to PWDs in the Philippines. We share their stories to help PWDs become accepted in our civilized society as individuals and to help them live as equals if not a functioning part of the community. It was founded by Roiland Marlang, a Pasayeno self-advocate with autism on March 8, 2017. This initiative was started as Inclusion in Action, IIA. 
His agenda was to unite and educate both citizens and netizens about the inclusion of PWD via the core values of hands and inclusion. Apart from your patience and understanding, we need your help and prayers for the anticipated return of hands and inclusion in the future as a formal organization and also for the pandemic to end. Okay. And that will be the end of our topic proper. Okay. Okay. Hey, right. let's have some announcements. Okay. Sorry. Excuse me. Okay. Sorry. Excuse As much as I can. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. okay, so for the hands and inclusion t shirts, for the white color t shirts of hands and inclusion, small size is 430, medium is 440, large is 450, XL 460 with additional 50 pesos with tax at the back. For the hands and inclusion t shirts, black. Small is 450, aging is 460, large is 470, with XL is 480 pesos, with additional 50 pesos with tax at the back. HNI tote bags. The small size of the hands in inclusion tote bags is 220 pesos. Medium is 240 pesos. Large is 260 pesos with additional 50 pesos with tax at the back. For the hands in inclusion stickers, we include RS 250 pesos. In AB ko ang mga Pinoy EWDs 150 pesos. And to inclusion, 150 pesos. You can pay via GCash and or pay Maya on the number flash in your screen. That's 0917-701-9684. It will be delivered to you via Tok Tok, Nada Move, GoGo Express, Grab, Mr. Speedy Philippines, and LBC. If you want to donate for hands and inclusion, no matter what, if the amount is smaller or larger, 
You may do so via GCash and our Paymaya on the number flashed in your screen, 0917-701-9684. 0917-701-9684. For those who donated, thank you for your generosity and for your continuous support. This coming February 27, 2021, we will have another webinar. It is entitled, Connecting with Down Syndrome. Coming this Saturday, February 27, 2021. Well, if you want to learn more about Hansen Inclusion, you may do so via our social media pages and our YouTube channels. Facebook, Hansen Inclusion PH, Twitter, HNI Philippines, Instagram and WordPress, Hansen Inclusion PH, Kumu, HNI Philippines, and our official YouTube channel, Hansen Inclusion Filipinas. In addition, you may want to um, subscribe to the latest uh, YouTube uh, um, to the other Facebook pages and YouTube channels that are associated with Hansen Inclusion. You may do so, ladies and gentlemen. It will be done via uh, Facebook, into radio, into sports, into Nihan, the online shop, into gaming. And our YouTube channel, into gaming. So to get, uh, regarding the anticipated return of Hansen Inclusion Philippines in the future as a formal organization, apart from soon, Apart from your patience and understanding, we need their help and prayers for the anticipated return of Hansen Inclusion Philippines in the future as a formal organization and also for the pandemic to end. Sa mga nakikipanood sa atin na hiling ko po ang inyong tulong at panalangin na sana bumalik na ang Hansen Inclusion sa pinaghi sa panghinaharap at sana maging isang formal na taord na tayo at sana maging coronavirus free ang ating bansa at ang buong mundo let's have some time for some shout outs today we have two birthday celebrants Abigail Camille Verona and Isabella Madero to the two of you, happy, happy birthday, and may, may the Lord God bless you on your birthdays today, and expect more birthdays to come. Okay? If you want to help the Lord, the grandmother of the Guman, you may do so by a GCash on 0997 603 so to Mrs. Naguman, we pray for your healing and speedy recovery. That will be all for today for editorial. I will be back this coming Saturday and Sunday for editorial and the One Inclusion Live Weekend. On behalf of the Arts and Inclusion Philippines and Into Radio Management, I'm your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi. Thank you for the blessed afternoon to all. May God bless us all. Ang palain tayo nawa ng poong may kapal. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. To God be the glory. Peace be with you. We include our yes. We at Hands in Inclusion include us and include each other. One inclusion forever. H and I, God first.
Thank you, everyone, and have a blessed afternoon to all. And to those who are watching, it's either good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. Maraming salamat po at magandang hapon po sa ating lahat.